So this time I'm going to be reviewing a film that I wasn't too fond of. And I'm going to explain it why. I don't necessarily think it was a bad film, but it just didn't really do it for me. So yes, this film is Entre Gade. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film Entre Gade uh, which is a contemporary world listed under the contemporary world cinema category this year at Toronto International Film Festival TIFF 2021. Uh, this Romanian film is a film that uh, the graphics kind of gave me horror vibes I really wasn't I didn't know what to expect I mean when you look at the graphics which you've seen just now uh, you're thinking like oh this might be creepy or whatnot and it just wasn't that. So, but that doesn't take away for why it didn't catch me as a film. Uh, one, particularly, I felt like this film was longer than it should have been and felt every minute of it. Um, also, I will say on the positive note too, I felt like uh, a lot of the low light shots was really fantastically done. I always, I always, always love low light shots, especially if you start throwing some neons and stuff on it. So some of my favorite, uh, some of my favorite scenes ever shot were, you know, under those parameters. But the other big thing to me is that I am not a big fan of wit, especially a film that's really catalyst around that. And you have three characters um, who are, actually this is also one of my fears too. Uh, you have these three characters as they are going down this, trying to deliver something to a town. They have to go down this muddy road, down this really thin mountain, and they get stuck. I mean, ultimately getting stuck uh, on the back road going down a muddy road period getting stuck and then ultimately being on a mountain i mean there's just three things i would never do at all and the fact that they get stuck and then they started going at it like <laughs> it just becomes a dysfunctional chaotic chaotic mess at this point not to mention too they pick up this other guy which an uh, older guy which i good i get the good samaritan work but like i also don't think it's very a uh, good idea regardless of you know adding people to your toxic pool of, of, of tension that everybody is going through right now but it, it, it's basically I think this film goal is to kind of uh, visually display what we see on the regular people who are, try to communicate uh, without listening and you know while they're trying to accomplish something people are blaming each other so they're looking for a solution and you know yes it, it, it's addressing very societal things that we see on a regular basis premised around one safety protection and ultimately getting the job done so like i get it but it just didn't do it for me i was bored at times especially considering that half of the film was kind of during the dark and then there was conversation and it was arguing and it was pointing and all sorts of different things and people being stranded by themselves and then that yeah, there's a little bit of suspense because like people went to go look for help and then help didn't come i think i was just more interested into uh, the older man who I thought his performance was really good because he definitely was giving me all of the emotions of like This guy's in trouble. He needs to find his family. You know, what's the going to be the reception of that? <laughs> Can they get themselves out of their own mess while they're trying to help somebody else out? So a bunch of that and then like ultimately The conclusion of this film kind of was like That's it <laughs> To the point that I feel like it didn't cater to us what was the overall message trying to be told in the film. So, I, I mean, again, I can't premise enough. This is truly my personal feelings about this film. I do not think that this film was a bad film in general. And in regards to the construction of it, I just wasn't connecting with it. I wasn't really interested uh, with it after seeing it. And it's again, it's not because of, you know, be, me feeling misled because I thought it potentially could have been a horror film, which everybody knows I love horror here. But it's just because that... I'm just not a big fan of Wit, and because this was really character driven, and you had to really, um, you know, kind of, uh, you, you kind of had to buy into the idea that this dynamic is relevant. It's kind of like also like I don't like that in real life. I definitely don't want to see a movie like that in real life. More of a let's let's get this done. Let's put all the BS to the side. Let's get this done, and then we can argue once we get off this mountain on the side of the road and 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 in the mud and 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 on dark, and then. Yeah, we, we don't have a solution. And, and, and it's funny because it's very synonymous with the more and more they keep trying to spin their wheels, the more and more they keep getting deeper and deeper into the mud. It's like the more and more we keep arguing, the longer we're going to be here. And this is like, yeah, <laughs> we know. The viewers, we know, and you all know. Let's, let's wrap this up now, folks. So, But totally, you know, check it out. Intergrade. 
Um, again, it was being shown this year at Toronto International Film Festival. I do know that there are other people that really like this film. So, yeah, I, regardless, I still expect this to get good distribution. Totally check it out when you get a chance. And then come back in the comments and let me know your thoughts about this film. But until then, folks, be safe. And I'll see you around for more reviews very soon.